Hello everyone, it's Limzi here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint some of this wild daisies watercolor. This is going to be a fun and fairly easy painting tutorial and no matter your skill level, I believe this is very doable. First off, let's talk about supplies. I'm using this 300 GSM cold pressed cotton acid free watercolor paper from Baohong Academy. It's a brand from China which I stumbled upon when I was working and traveling there many years ago. It happens to be sold here in Malaysia so I got a bunch of these as they're pretty affordable and nice to use. So now I want to take some time to arrange my palette. I'm using Holbein Artist Watercolor and this bright yellow is a good start for our palette. We're going to use a lot of yellow for the petals and leaves so do squeeze out a good amount of it. And let's also squeeze out some of this trusty burnt umber which is one of the colors that I find very useful when it comes to painting nature. We will also need some sap green, scarlet red and yellow ochre so do remember to squeeze them out which I've already done so. So let's start by mixing out a vibrant bright orange by grabbing some of the yellow and red with lots of water and mix them together. So this orange is going to be very useful when we paint the stamens or create gradient on the petals later on. Next, I'm adding some burnt umber at one side of the orange to achieve this darker brick tone for painting the stamen later on. And moving on, let's finish off by mixing out a beautiful green. But we will definitely revisit the green as we move through the piece. So grab your sap green and add in some yellow ochre and a little bit of light yellow. You will get this gorgeous olive green that is more muted and soothing than those direct from tube kind of greens. With that color palette done, it's time to start painting. These daisies are going to be loose and free, so we're gonna just jump right in. I'm using the mixed out orange to make a stamen. So just dot in a circular motion and end up in an oval shape, probably slightly off-center on your paper. I just sort of mark it a little bit and then grab some of that brick brown to blend in with the orange. And then I'm grabbing the light yellow and from the center, just drag the belly of your brush across the page and drag it nice and long to create this long slender petals. They can be a little different or uneven, but that's okay. That's actually what we want to achieve today, that no two petals are the same. And from here, you can tell that I do leave a bit of gap in between some petals And some of the petals on both ends here will be a bit more curved as we build the petal one by one around the stamen. So while the yellow is still damp, just quickly grab the orange and blend in from the center. And it's okay to leave some of this scissor cut off edges at the tip of the petals because I think that looks perfectly imperfect. As you move to the top of the stamen, your petals could be more flung out and upright just like how I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. 
and while it's still damp, remember to grab some of the orange to blend out from the center again. You can also grab a bit of brown. Remember the brick brown that we have mixed out earlier on? So just blend it out from the center. I think that's the fun part of loose watercolor is that you get to achieve this bleeding and blending effect. Moving on to the second flower, it's gonna be right beside the first main flower but this flower is gonna be of a side view so start off with the stamen as well big and round and oval and then just grab the yellow again to do the petals I'm trying to use a more drier effect to see if I could have more of this dry brush strokes and this negative spots on the petals. It also helps to keep the flowers from looking too organized. For this daisy, as it's going to be a side view, all of the petals is going to be curved down, like how I demonstrate here. You can also use the fine tip of your brush to just add some lines and just a little bit of character for your petals. And while it's still damp, remember to just grab the orange and blend out from the center again. Now that your second flower is done, let's move up and create another flower. But this is going to be a flower in the background, so it's going to be smaller of a side view and it's okay if the details are not as intricate as the ones in the foreground. So basically, here you can just create this very messy arrangement of petals and it's okay to just have a bit of fun to it with different sizes of petals or with a larger gap because this flower is seemingly smaller that's perfectly fine I even add this very rough edge for some of the tip And then just remember to blend in that orange again to create this beautiful gradient on the petals. Now that we're mostly done with the bigger flowers, we will move on by painting some buds for the daisies. So just use the belly of your brush and from the tip of the brush just drag the belly as well but it's gonna be very short strokes like this where it hugs each of the stroke together to form this bud and while it's still damp the same method again we're gonna just use some of this orange to blend in at the bottom area And let's do another bud, shall we? So at the bottom area of your paper, just do the same for another bud facing towards another direction. And while I'm not resting here, I'll just grab the sap green that we have mixed up previously to just blend in with the bud so that you can see that the green bleeds to the orange. And from here, I'm gonna just connect the twig or stem all the way down to the bottom of the paper, just slightly curved. And this is where we start painting the leaves, stems, and grass. Mm -hmm. 
For the leaves, I just drag the belly of the brush with about one or two brush strokes and I just see what shape is formed from there. You can also add a darker green while it's still wet. So everything's gonna happen really quick from here. Because you can just build from there and just have fun and play around with the composition. I don't really go back to fix or change any of the leaves or stem. So you just want to leave them alone once it is on the paper. And then just continue painting more of the stems just intersecting each other and with your green having a bit of variation like the green that I'm using now have more ochre and yellow to it so that it looks more yellowish as compared to the first leaf that I've painted and from here we're gonna just paint more leaves and stems and just twisting and intersecting all of them and composing this composition together. For some parts of the leaf, I'm probably just slapping some paint on the paper and maybe with an experimental mess around it. And then just grab the same green again that you still have and we're gonna paint some long and tall grass. And it's okay if some of the grass are wet or if some of them are dried, you can create this really beautiful dry strokes but not too much because subtle is always better. And for some of the grass, it could be curved all the way down and some could be just facing up. So it could be of many different directions and shapes. So basically just fill up your grass fill at the bottom of your paper. But also at the same time, you could just drag some grass that is very long all the way to the top of the daisy, but not too much. Just a few will do. And remember to finish connecting the stems of your twig or flowers all together to form this perfect harmony. Well, I'm almost done with the entire painting and I just want to check around to see if there is still anything that I want to add like a grass here or a leaf there or just to fill up any space that I feel that needs refining. And your daisy fill is going to come to life in no time. So that's it for today guys, I hope you thoroughly enjoy this fun and free loose wall daisies watercolor. Thank you so much for watching and if you post it on social media, remember to hashtag life with Limzy or love Limzy so that I could check out your work. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel or even leave a comment down below. I will see you again, be kind to one another. Bye-bye!